Hi, my name is William Jiaming. Welcome to the tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys a tip of how to change between the front and back color and how to set it to the default. This is pretty, pretty convenient, especially if you do a lot of common force, change and switch between different color and want to quickly set that to default and then add a different color. Okay, so um, previously, if we change color, um, you can click here. For example, if you're using a B brush, and um, you are doing uh, some, yeah, I don't know, line R or something like that. Okay, and then you want to change that to a different color. You just click any of the color here, and then the line, um, the colors of line to change. Okay, so Command Z Z to, yeah, to change that. And of course, um, uh, if you look at here, the icon here. Let me just uh, zoom it in so you guys can see it more clearly. Let me do me. Okay, so if you hover over it, okay, and yeah, don't click it. If you hover over it, I think there is a um, foreground color, okay, and this is the background color, okay. So this too is with the default. The default, of course, is black, and uh, um, the uh, background color is white, okay. So if you um, Use the default, which just give you the default um, black color. And of course, this can go a lot of uh, um, things. Uh, for example, if you are not using the brush, you're using a, say, a paint bucket, paint bucket, okay? And this is also, yeah, um, black. And you can paint this one as well, okay? But uh, you can just uh, delete it. And of course, you can use this technique if you are saying using the marquee tool, and say you're using, um, or maybe not marquee. Let me use this uh, lasso tool, and uh, using pen to quickly draw. I don't know, maybe wavy, uh, like dialogue box. <laughs> okay, so if you are using this, and uh, you can use the paint bucket. Um, gradient and the default is black as well so you can click and this uh, default black is done and what if I um, use the paint bucket um, and want to make it white because I say I have a background and the background uh, got the color of black okay so how to do that Pretty simple. You just need to switch it, okay? So um, switch it is using X, and then you are at the white, or you you brought the um, the the background color up to the front ground color, and it's the color that we currently choose, okay? And then you choose the layer, and use the paint bucket to paint it. Uh, say white and then you can cancel the selection by command and enter and go to the background layer and use the paint bucket tool and x to switch that to black and now first we need to um, make sure that the selection command and d sorry and uh, go to the second layer and make the background black okay so this is um it's pretty convenient if you want to switch just use x okay to switch it and of course you can change the um, front and back con color as well so you click it we just give you a color picker and you can just choose whatever color that you like and remember this gray things is that if you click view uh, we got a uh, garment warning and uh, this is a color that if you are going to print it it will not show this part of the color and uh, say I'm going to change that to the, this weird um, violet color and um, you can just uh, use the paint bucket to change that as well and um, you can use a brush you can use any tool okay um, because um, it's pretty 
um, easy for you to change it and draw on there. Okay, so for example, if uh, I go to William drumming, right, you can just uh, choose the color you want. And um, sometimes if you find something need to um, correct, you can use the E eraser, make it a little bigger, the right square bracket, and then you can erase it. And, um, but sometimes you can use a brush as well. So um, this is a uh, eraser. Um, I think I'm going to use white part. Yeah, pretty weird. Oh, I know, because I totally erased this color and the underground was shown. So yeah, um, let me use another example. So choose this layer and use the eraser. And uh, as you erase it, the color is gone. So the white background is shown. And of course, you can use, let me just get rid of this. Um, you can use um, the pen to draw that as well. So if you are using brush, okay, you choose this layer, you zoom it in, and you want to erase it. You, the first method is to use the eraser. Okay, the second method is, of course, just stick with the brush. And for example, if the brush is already this color and the background color is white or whatever color that uh, is at the same color as the background, uh, you can just X to, zoom, uh, to, to change that, bring it in the front and use your brush, you're still using the brush. For example, if the brush have some special effect, you can use it. Um, as eraser as well and uh, of course you can use E as eraser both of it is a good way of doing things okay so yeah and of course if you're um, tired of all the color for example if you just mess up with the color the front and back on color you want to set a default you just click D it will just go to default um, black and white color okay